Greetings, everyone. I'm Dima Adel, and I'm Saudi born and raised. I have a PhD in computer science focusing on artificial intelligence from the George Washington University. I recently got appointed as the data and AI business development leader as part of the global IBM organization. I extremely enjoy working with my clients, getting to hear their pain points, understanding where they aspire to be, and guiding them with my knowledge in artificial intelligence, along with my expertise in managing large-scale projects in order to help them achieve their goals. From my young age, I've always been obsessed with puzzles and technology. I still remember how excited I was when my father first purchased the IBM PC and brought it home back in the 80s. I would be spending hours on it, you know, playing with it and trying to understand the science behind it. So majoring in IT eventually was a no-brainer to me. Even after I pursued my graduate studies, I constantly reminded myself that I should always stay true to what I enjoy doing most, which is playing and experimenting with data and ultimately the application of AI in use cases around us. I was blessed with multiple opportunities in my career in which I got to enhance my skills. So when I was presented with the opportunity to join IBM, I was ready for it, especially when it came to the focus on AI projects, applying my knowledge and enhancing my skills. The obstacles we faced as Saudi women is not different from any other obstacles that other women faced around the world. We are subjected to the pressure of society and the expectation of perfection in all aspects of our lives, whether it's personal or professional. However, Saudi women proved themselves. They paved their way and they contributed alongside their male colleagues to the development of our economy and society. I take pride in what I managed to achieve so far. I take my inspiration from my father. He left the town of Arras all the way to the US back in the 1960s, didn't speak English, didn't have much in his pocket. However, after years of hard work, he managed to earn his PhD in mechanical engineering from Stanford University, came back to the kingdom, contributed, and made a name for himself. I'm simply following my father's footsteps. If I have an advice to the Saudi youth nowadays, it would be to remember that passion is the key to innovation and dream big because your ambition is the glass ceiling of your potential. I'm adventurous by nature, both on a personal and professional levels. I'm always on the lookout for the next adventure or challenge, and I hate the feeling associated with being in the comfort zone. I feel triumphant whenever I solve a problem, conquer a challenge, or face my fears.